and flag goes down and they're off for the opening race the coral will get closer to the action national hunt maiden hurdle race uh, one of the first to show is centara towards the far side in the center the dark blue and yellow of grasshopper time is prominent too as they head towards the first of the eight flights we've all jumped safely enough got a long run in on the hurdles track today well over a, a furlong and centara has the fractional lead the dark blue in the hands of harry cobden leading up to Grasshopper Time is racing in second place, the dark blue and yellow. Racing in third, the white of Plazia de Flo is just ahead of King William Rufus, the pink sleeves and cap, the bright green jacket, that's I'm on my way. Also with the noseband, the grey horse, one off the rails, is Mountain Pass in the green with the orange chevrons. The market leaders on the inside there, Jericho du Reponet in the green and gold hoops with the white cap, just losing a place there as I'm on my way. He's now been shuffled to the tail of the field where He'll find Sea Invasion for company. That's in light blue colours as they take the turn and brings them out towards the back straight where four flights of hurdles will await them here. Heading towards the second and Centara, winner first time out at Taunton, has a fractional advantage here to Grasshopper time. Was actually alongside their big jump by Centara as well. Really gave it plenty of air. Landing in third was King William Rufus ahead of Plazier de Flo in the white. To the outside is Sea Invasion, the light blue in the line of three. Jerry Codu Repone is on the inside of towards the outside I'm on my way between those two is Mountain Pass in the darker green jacket making the run then towards the next hurdle down the back straight and Centara has a half length lead now to Grasshopper Time who's racing in second place King William Rufus is through for third Plazier de Flo is racing in fourth wider out is Sea Invasion the pale blue for Freddie Gordon more towards the inside under a tight hold is this odds on favorite Jericho du Repone jumps that with a couple behind I'm on my way and Mountain Pass being held up at the tail. Making the run then, well down the back straight towards the last on the far side, flight five, Centara. Just slightly awkward there, but lands in front by a couple of lengths to Grasshopper Time in second place. King William Rufus is in third. Sea Invasion in fourth place, Nico de Boinville in no hurry here on Jericho du Reponne, who's around a 12 to 1 chance for the Supreme Novices hurdle before his debut here today he's racing back in about fifth place behind those we have mountain pass niggled along and losing ground is plazier de flo and also i'm on my way he's finding life tough at the moment they make the run on the side of the track long run to the home straight where they'd have three left to jump centara's pressing on here leads by a good couple of lengths although now making ground again is king william rufus and grasshopper time to try and close him down jerry code repone is close now in a share of fourth on the inside of sea invasion then behind those, we have Mountain Pass, the grey ridden along, followed by I'm on my way and Plazier de Flo's lost no further ground, but is still last as they make the turn into the home straight. As they do so, it is Centara, who leads by a few lengths here, just tries to slip away. He's a bit awkward, though, he has a look on the run to that flight. Did well to jump it, Centara, but he lost a bit of ground. He lands ahead still to King William Rufus. Jericho du Reponne all the time is creeping closer in the green and gold hoops. So and they've only got two left to jump. They're well inside the final three and a half furlongs now. Just a shake of the reins, too, for this favourite to get a bit closer as they head down to two out. Centara again, he looks about him on the run to the hurdle. Jumps it safely, though, to King William Rufus. Sea Invasion near side. Jericho de Reponne has got a few to pass as they head down towards the last, but he's making ground. King William Rufus in the centre now has the lead. Here comes Jerry Kodu Reponne though, making headway now on the far side over the final flight. King William Rufus made a mistake and Jerry Kodu Reponne is still under wraps here. Nico de Boinville has not broken sweat and Jerry Kodu Reponne very easily has now moved his way to the front and he now goes on by a couple of lengths to in second place King William Rufus then comes Sea Invasion and Centara but this was impressive. He looks a class apart. Jerry Kodu Reponne he could be very smart. He wins easily for J.P. McManus, Nicky Henderson and Nico de Boinville. Second, King William Rufus. Third, Sea Invasion. And fourth was Centara, the early leader, and they were clear of Mountain Pass. Nico de Boinville was on board Jericho de Repine, who arrived here with a very tall reputation and won that first race here at Newbury Ready really easily. Uh, you're pretty cool in the closing stages. How was the whole race for you? Uh, quite straightforward, really. Um, the main thing was to give him the experience as well. Um, but I thought he was very genuine. Uh, Paul's horse was running around in front, and um, I thought Harry Cobden was riding really well just to keep him in the wings. Um, but no, it rode like, a, like an OK race, and um, he's gone through it well. He's, he's kind of hacked through the closing stages, hasn't he? Yeah, there was a tight, bit of a tight gap, which um, was good that he came through, and uh, once he got through that gap, he's um, just sort of come back on the bridle. And how had you been training at home going into this? 
I can't say that I had a lot to do with him, right. but um, yeah, he, he'll obviously come on for the run. And uh, you know, they saw you saw that he had a nice piece of work here about ten days ago. Mm -hmm. So um, no, I thought he's he's a very good-looking horse. What do you see him as in terms of his trip requirements? What was your feel there? Uh, I don't really know. I think that was fine for now, and um, yeah, we'll see where we go now. You've won this race with some nice horses, though. I mean, you've won it four times in the last six years now, haven't you? It's a good race for you. I didn't know that stat, but um, <laughs> yeah. <no. laughs> Um, but you, you feel he's quite decent? He's a lovely horse, yeah. OK. Later on, Marie's Rock, you must be looking forward to getting back on board her for the long distance hurdle? Yeah, very much. Um, you're sort of coming across the same old um, sort of contenders yes. and uh, ground will be of a, of a similar thing. I thought it was sort of good, soft, a bit dead because of the frost. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to it. And do you feel that she saw out the three miles when she was touched off by the Slayers Hurdle winner at Aintree the last time we saw her? I think she did. I think um, the horse that beat her was, was racing behind the bridle and racing lazily, and then he's come with that final burst, and you know he's been an absolute stalwart for uh, J.P. McManus. But um, I thought she ran a great race, but uh, let's see what she can do today. And you're in Pers on the colours of Persian Rock. What chances does he have? Persian Time. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good chance, yeah. He's been schooling well. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to getting him out over fences. I think this is what he wants, and, um, yeah, let's go and see what happens. We've got another one in Russian Ruler as well, and, yes. uh, again, they've been schooling together and doing everything together. So um, we shall see. Like, there's, there's nothing in between them. You know, it was just a case of I didn't pick or anything. It was just a case of what suited. And, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I suppose you've got your fingers crossed that Newcastle passes its inspection later on today. Otherwise, that would be pretty difficult for various horses, particularly Shishkin, I suppose. Very much so. I mean, he's the one we, we really need it for. Um, look, it's a tough job being clerk of the course, isn't it? And uh, I wouldn't want that job. And, um, yeah, you just wish them all the best, really. And how is that ground out there, actually, that, that springs to, to mind? Given that they've had the frost covers down for a couple of days, how are you actually finding it's riding? A good soft dead. Right. Not much life in it, but um, we're not going in very deep. Okay. Nico, thank you very much. Best of luck for the rest of the day. Thank you very much. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.